Hi guys, this is probably the third time I've recorded this video, so I'm just going to get right to it. I'm doing the hashtag eyes shut makeup challenge, which is a challenge provided by the Guide Dogs UK Association, which is an organization in the United Kingdom that provides guide dogs to people with vision loss or who are losing their vision. Now, I think that's a really good cause, so I decided I'm going to do the um, makeup challenge. So they have two challenges. They have the hashtag eyes shut makeup challenge, which is to film yourself as fast as possible and to put on your makeup and do it all with your eyes closed. And now the second one is to get dressed completely blind, which is um, blindfold dress up. So you wouldn't know what you were putting on. So basically I'm going to give you guys three minutes and I'm going to give me three minutes to put on my makeup. This is going to be like the third time I've done it. Um, so I mixed everything up again. I don't know where anything is. And I'm going to turn on the timer now and we're going to get right to it. Okay, you're going to try to do everything. Everything from blush to contour. Ready, go. No, actually, I didn't get ready yet. Okay, ready? Is it going? Ready? Go. Okay, so first things first. You've got to put down a foundation, right? So I know my foundation is like a giant bottle. It's good. Ooh, that's a lot. I think that was a lot. Okay, yeah. Oh, it went out my nose. felt pretty good okay lipstick is quick so let's try that is this lipstick I think it is oh yeah mm -hmm. tastes good I don't know what it is but it tastes good it smells like cocoa butter not to touch my computer because I don't want to turn off the timer again like I have like for the last five times okay what is this either eyeshadow or blush this is a brush let me go for this general vicinity I'm gonna guess it's blush okay so that's good remember blend upward and outward um what do I have oh I have a eyeshadow brush is this eyeshadow i think this is eyeshadow here feels like anytime i have a palette i think it's eyeshadow yeah okay let's get this in i do my makeup so much that i feel like i have some good cell memory like so i don't poke my eyes out besides that i'll probably suck usually i like contour my eyes i don't know I don't know what's going on here. Okay, that sounds like good enough to me. I gotta keep going. Mascara down in my drawer. I don't. I do keep them close to the front, so that was good. So I kind of remember. Can't find my eye. Okay, that's good. Get back in there. Okay, let's see. What is this? What is this? I have no idea. Giant brush. Don't want it. What is this? Oh, contouring. Is that what that is? Yeah, okay. I don't know which side is which, so here's the guessing. I hope this is light because I want to add some light to my face. <laughs> it's not that easy. Okay. I think this is a little bit easier in that I know what my products feel like because I use them quite a lot. If you were unfamiliar, you would have a harder time. And it's hard to find things. Oh, shh, it scared me. Oh! <laughs> it scared me, and then I looked at myself and I was scared too. Bright green. At least I got the same color every time. Wow, that's pretty impressive. I mean, I'm pretty impressed actually. It's not as bad as I was expecting. I look like a watermelon. Wow. I gotta give props to anybody that has like problems with their eyesight that does like good makeup because this is like, ooh, ooh, not really bad. So anyway, um, I'm happy to do this makeup test. Um, I think I did better than I was expecting, actually. If I had done more than three minutes, uh, hopefully I would have been able to find that pencil I was looking for. 
it's so hard because they're so skinny you can't really feel for them um and i've just looked and they're like on opposite ends of the desk and i would have never found them because they were among like brushes and things like ugh. it's a nice color not one i usually pick for myself <laughs> anyway i'm really happy to do this particular tag because i feel really strongly that people with eyesight loss are um, really struggle i think is it's a very hard sense to lose much like touch or sense of taste or smell or anything like that or hearing loss so i hope you guys uh will accept my challenge and do a three minute one yourself <coughs> um how i arranged it was i got everything out and put it on the desk but i just put them wherever so i had to feel for them and try to figure out what i mean i didn't know what color i was grabbing so as you can see, it kind of goes crazy. And you can't open your eyes, so if you're putting mascara on, you got to do it um, with your eyes shut or away from a mirror, whatever you'll do. Anyway, thanks for watching. And remember, I sponsor Guide Dogs UK, so if you guys are looking for something to sponsor, go ahead and sponsor them. I think dogs are great, and I love animals, and I think they're great for uh, people's mental health especially people that are going through these losses in eyesight or hearing or anything i think they really struggle with a lot of things but having a constant companion there i think is really important so i will see you guys in my next video and i hope you enjoyed it and please give it a try and tag me in your video i'll see ya